I'm going to pause it real quick. So this is Druid Lock Games. And generally our strategy here is to run after the Druid, get fears on him, shatter him out of it with a sheep on the Warlock roughly around the same time to stop him fearing me or, or stopping me. And then I'll burn the Druid, try and force CS from the pet. Uh, so he has to either CS the burn or, or CS the shatter from the mage. And uh, if these games go a bit too long, the Druid Lock ones, as, as they have a, you know, a tendency to, I'll, I'll skip through them a little bit because obviously it's just us doing setups and you don't need to see that over and over. Here we force the Druid's Trinket uh, because the Warlock's down the bottom, Druid's in a bad spot. And uh, obviously he doesn't want to doesn't want us creating pressure on him. Now we're just chilling at the top, waiting for fear cooldown, maybe looking to snipe a burn, gets resisted, now he bears. So if we force bear, we're still forcing some some mana out of the druid. Uh, druid's positioning was poor here, so he got casted on a lot, and so we're creating some pressure on him. So this actually makes him use quite a lot of mana. I get feared here, trinket, unfortunately get feared again. Maybe he wasn't a good trinket, now he innovates, but he just runs straight into me. So this, this is a lower team, this is one of our earlier games. Um... Uh, as you can see, but the strategy remains the same. We're, we're essentially trying to do the same thing over and over here. We get a fear on him. Mage is usually trying to keep some sort of stacks on him, whether it be Winner's Chill or like a, a slow. Obviously, he can shift it, but if I get it when... Uh, if he's slowed at the same time as I fear him, then potentially the pet can remove some other random bullshit instead of, you know, instead of the fear. Obviously, if, he, if the pet removes the fear, then he can't dispel himself from sheep either, so... Right now, there's no reason for me to drink. We're miles ahead on mana. Druid is in a lot of trouble, has no innovate, and we're just chasing him down now. And when I have this much, you know, of a mana lead, I can just play really aggressively on him, and it makes it really difficult for him to kind of get away and, and survive. Warlock actually gets a full fear on me here, so this is going to save him for another go, most likely. But Druid is starting to get real low. And uh, right now, we just need to stop him drinking. That's the main goal. He's looking for it here, but I don't think he's going to get anything rivers onto it. And I, I'd say he's going to die on the next fear, most likely. I'm just going to get a little safety drink in here, just in case. Uh, while waiting for my fear cooldown, might try and mount up, up the top here. Probably the play here. Maybe didn't need to go for that renew. Looking for some cheeky damage on him. Using chastise, obviously, to... To get onto the druid is decent as well. Okay, I actually managed to force the druid's trinket again on that one. And uh, yeah, again, most likely he's going to die on the next fear if we get a shatter. Uh, yeah, this, as you can see, this is a lower team. Warlock hasn't been mana draining at all. He's trying to just put out pressure with damage, but he's not getting that much off. There's a mana drain very late in the day for that. But yeah, mostly he's obviously been trying to create pressure, but obviously River's outplaying him. We get the fear on the Druid here. I'm going to pop PI and get a burn off on him. Just delaying it a little bit because I want River to get a shatter. Burn goes off. Trinket the fear. Try and... Oh, fear with the next, actually. He lost it anyway. The fear with doesn't get uh, removed. And I just drop Fiend on him here just to create a little bit of added damage pressure. And honestly, at this point, if, he, if it's not Blades, this Druid is long dead. Only reason he's still going is because it's Blades, but I think he dies here. Probably looking to remove the, the blooms on three stacks rather than two. Getting a big grey healer on, on River just to be safe while he's in the fear. Boy uses bark skin, gets a burn to spell. And I think he just dies now. He should do. Uh, it's annoying you can only go forward 30. It's okay. I've, I've edited it a little bit. So we've got another Druid Warlock game. So the way I've set it up is I've got all the Druid Warlock stuff in the same segment so that we can kind of see the improvement or, or any mistakes from the games in a row and see see how the teams kind of progress a little bit. Um, so obviously the games that are more recent will be at the end of the of each segment. Which is where, obviously, we're like fine-tuning mistakes more so. Uh, get a nice little Mind Blast, mind blast Death on this guy here. And uh, we're not on Blade's Edge this time, so it's a lot easier to harass the Druid. 
Um, we're using uh, the rank one blizzard as well. Sometimes if I need to get a fear. Right now I have the pet on me so I can't man up to fear. Which is annoying but at least it keeps it off river. So I'm just running at him. I should try and commit to a, a certain way more and then let, let river just blizzard the other way. And we'll have an easier time catching him. Because right now he's just running. See it like this. This is what we want. And I'll get the fear here. Get the PI on river. And we'll just drop my fiend on the uh, on the druid. And actually we're going for the pet here. This might be... Nah, I don't think it's going to go down. As, as soon as it gets a heal from the druid, it's pretty much going to survive. It's like he, he it needs like one, maybe two life blooms, and we're not going to kill it due to resists. Unlucky to uh, tornado there. I tried to run through it and get it to bounce me to the druid, but it doesn't always work out. And right now we're actually winning mana, but it's going to come down a lot to if I can get the innovate off. Will be quite important. Managed to dispel the fear. Trying to force the druid round to the tornado. Unfortunately, it despawned at the exact same moment, but we still get a fear due to the blizzard. Dropping a burn. Breaks the fear. Pet spell lock's too late, so we get that off. And he bears, so we force a good bit of mana out of the druid here. It's cloning me. Uh, River has no dots, so this is fine. Not too scared of this. Actually, unlucky tornado spawned for the druid there. And druid is leaving it really late to innovate. If he innovated a little bit sooner, like there was a few times where I'm in CC and I can't really remove it. But if he leaves it this late, then because of how high my mana is, the Warlock's putting out double dots, right? So it allows me to palm bounce all the time. Rather than just like solo dotting river and forcing me to use more mana to heal him, I can just palm bounce every time uh, I go near him and it's going to top us. Druid went for a little drink there. I don't think he got a tick. Going to probably palm bounce here. Since we're in the open. He has a shield, so it's not bouncing, which is a bit annoying. Need to be careful of that. If I want to palm bounce, I should palm first and then shield. This Warlock's draining more. Managed to get the double fear. Triple fear even. Warlock trinkets into a sheep. So a misplay from him there. If he will, he could have trinketed the sheep. And uh, we managed to get the Druidoom. He can't innovate. Trying to get the bark skin off. It's resisting every dispel. Finally get it off. Like three quarters of the way during uh, through the duration. Trying to get the, uh, the fear off river there. And I'm not too worried here. This, the Warlock has no spell lock, no coil, so it's uh, it's not the end of the world if you know I take a little bit of damage. Druid innovates way too late, and uh, we take him out. Be interesting to see what MMR this one's at. The Warlock Hellstone for no reason. We won't, won't get to see it. So this is a more recent game, actually. This was the other day. This is a much better team. But uh, we've also improved since then. Get a good shatter on the pet, actually. And uh, I actually misplay here. This was a misplay trinketing this. I shouldn't have trinketed the bash. The druid's like lagging all over the place, making it very risky to just go for a fear on him. And uh, I think he devours the fear ward. No, I fielded river, actually. So, yeah, I get feared here instead of getting a burn on him. But the Druids used a lot of mana, which is nice. Uh, I got full dots, which have been powered up. So this is a bit risky for me. I played that quite aggressively, and, and the trinket was poor, which is why it got so scary. So I had to Desperate Prayer in the room. Uh, and I believe River locked the Druid on NS. Otherwise, I would have received an NS Wrath, and we could have lost the game there. But this was a nice, uh, nice save. And Druid has used, like, a shit ton of mana now, which is... In our in our favor. Now I'm just gonna run at him. The warlock's used a lot on uh, on that last go. He's committed pretty hard for that, so we're okay to go offensive for a little bit now. Fear him on his charge. Gonna palm bounce. Warlock gets CS'd, and I'm looking to do a little bit of damage if he's in bear. If he's in cast, then I'll look to burn him, as it's more efficient in the way of you know forcing the druid to to play more defensively due to low mana. Putting a little bit of damage on the pet. I'm staying at the pillar here because uh, Druid not crossing. River doesn't have CS yet. And we're generally trying to cross more with CS so that uh, 
so that the Warlock can't fear me. Because if the Warlock fears me, then we can fall behind and it's really bad in this matchup. We need to maintain pressure on the Druid like all the time. I fucked up a POM as well a little bit earlier and lost River on it. A little bit of a panic POM. I could have waited with that. There was no reason to rush it. So Warlock somehow doesn't get that fear. Maybe I resisted that one. I'm not sure. It didn't land on anyone. River gets full fear and I'm stopping the Druid drinking. I'm going to try and get the sphere off. And I think I'm late here to fear. No, I actually get the fear. Thought I might be late, but managed to get it. My bangle just came back up. Druid actually got a really nice fear path for us and it allowed us to get a big shatter off. So he barks. Managed to dispel the bark, dispel the fear, pop the fiend. And here actually we managed to rush him down before he zoom. Uh, due to that really nice shatter. I guess he got some crits on that one. So it was, it was a solid uh, executed go from us. But we were actually behind on mana. So had we not killed him there, we'd have been in a rough spot. Mainly due to the start from me, I think. So again, same team, same map. A um, little bit later. And I'm, I'm fully dispelling the Warlock at the start just to make sure he has a little bit less, you know, less Mark of the Wild, less chance to resist Mage's stuff. Dispelled the pet as well so that we can start on it. Forces the Druid out. And instantly I'm trying to burn him. Force the Bear Form. So he's using some mana on that. And I believe here I use a Global and he charges past me. So I need to be more careful with that here. I, I, th I think I just positioned poorly. I overcommitted on my positioning. I didn't need to go down the stairs, and I was a bit concerned that the stairs would lost my fear. So I didn't fear him. So we missed an opportunity there. Warlock is already draining. It's gone behind the hill, so I can't get it, which is unfortunate. I know the druid wants to clone me here, so I'm just being a bit careful. This team likes to do uh, an all-in with coil and a full line of dots. So being very careful of that. Snipe the fear on the druid here. Druid actually hasn't been dispelled yet. This is something I could maybe do better if I fully clean him at the start. And druid takes a fair bit of damage, so he's got a lot to heal up now. And I pop fiend on him actually because of that. Let's see if it actually works out. The fiend is, is sitting on him pretty well, getting hits off, so it's not too bad. Druid risking going for a clone, but he doesn't land it because river has CS. If river gets the CS on him, he's going to be uh, in a fair bit of trouble, I'd say. And I'm just constantly staying near to the tomb. I don't want to don't want to stray too far away from the tomb because then the warlock can fear me for free. We want to make it as, as hard as possible for the warlock to fear me. And we're actually really ahead on mana this time. Uh, and I really like the early fiend for me as well. I think uh, fiending fiending nice and early in this matchup to keep my mana top is definitely uh, a decent play because it comes back up then uh, and we get maybe an opportunity to kill in between the first two innovates. But if I if I do it late, then I don't get the second fiend, and I end up being really behind on mana and having to play it defensively. But here we're we're miles ahead. I actually pop an early bangle as well. This is a second bangle, but yeah. And Druid is in a rough spot now because he's left it really late to innovate. He has no buffs, and obviously it's ruins, so it's a lot easier to actually get fears on him because he has, he runs into that dead end, you know. Try to get the boxing off. Two resists so far. Get it on the third. And uh, he actually doesn't have mana to use his NS. I'm trying to dispel it. I should have uh, probably just chastised him, to be honest. I think it would have killed him. But uh, I dispelled River on Fear. It resisted, and then he blocked. And then I dispelled the NS, and it resisted. So standard uh, Druid gameplay there. I think that was the last Druid lock game. It was quite a high one.